Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to do a premiere draft for Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate. That set in itself is a mouthful. Uh, but one thing we're going to do a little bit differently. I did finally find out how to record the untap.gg overlay while I'm doing this. Uh, so I'm going to do a draft with this on. I kind of forgot about even having this for most of the uh, Streets of New Capenna drafts, and I didn't use it at all. Uh, but it can be a kind of nice tool. I've shown some of the free features on it, how it tracks your uh, your decks, your stats. You can, like, go back through your draft when you're done and, like, check all of your picks versus what was in the packs. It, it can be just a very nice tool, even the free-to-use version. And then... It'll also give you like some static ratings, although those are not available for this set yet. Um, and then there's the Draftsmith feature, which uh, we're going to be using. When you download it, it, it's free, but there's like a premium membership you can pay to get like unlimited Draftsmith things. Uh, but we'll show off what this does. You do have a free trial of like 10 uses of Draftsmith. And so what it'll do is it will, I don't want to say it'll always tell you the, the best cards in the pack to pick. Because sometimes, like, like I've done it and it's kind of led me astray. Like, I remember doing it in Crimson Vow once and I ended up with a red-green deck that went, like, three and three. Because I had so much spot removal. I have four remaining on this. I had so much spot removal, and uh, I ended up not... Wow. All of the black removal spells ever are here. <laughs> We've got Cast Down, Grim Bounty, and Sewer Plague. Yeah, all the best black removal. We have uh, this Gates Redirection. What does this do? I mean, cast the exiled card for uh, exile spell. You may cast as long as it remains exiled. You may cast the exiled spell without paying its mana cost. Huh. That seems cool to kind of try out, but remember the strategy I mentioned last time? I want to try and be either black, red, or white. So I'm going to prioritize removal of those colors over this thing yeah so we're gonna take the cast down here and you can see the the flames it will kind of tell you like hey these are the best cards in the pack to pick so it's recommending battle cry goblin or dragon's fire i'm good with either of those really uh but i think there's a lot of two drops and while battle cry goblin is very good i'm gonna prioritize the removal a little bit because I'd be okay with a red deck without Battlecry Goblin, but I'm not as okay with a red deck without a Dragon's Fire when I could have had one. And so uh, what this Draftsmith feature will do, obviously the higher the number, the better the card is for your deck. Uh, and it will adjust these numbers based on your previous picks and whatnot. Sometimes I do get into disagreements, like I was mentioning with that Crimson Vow draft. I ended up with, like, so much spot removal. And I only ended up with, like, 11 or 12 creatures. I ended up being really light on creatures because Draftsmith kept telling me to pick all of these good removal spells. And, and then, like, I just didn't have a very good deck here. Now, the reason why this is going to be a good pick for Dragon's Fire here is it's kind of cutting off the red. Uh, so we'll be kind of sending a signal that, hey, we're red might not be open for the other people. So then pack two, we might get some red stuff passed to us. Uh, I'm also noticing that this is the only other black card in the pack. A rare and uncommon was taken, so that doesn't really tell us much in terms of signaling, but yeah, I'm just going to pick another Dragon's Fire here. Cast down in two Dragon's Fires, that's a good way to start off a draft. Two-Handed Axe, we tried this last time. I don't think it was... It wasn't super terrible, but I don't think it's super great. 
Uh, we have a lot of red cards in this pack, which is kind of a good signal. The threaten effect here could be decent if we knew we were black red and we knew we were going to have like multiple sepulchral, sepulchral ghouls and deadly disputes like we had last time but we don't know if we're going to be that yet whereas the rabble rouser is going to be a good all-around two drop regardless of what red deck we make so we're going to go ahead and pick that all right we have a couple of things in this pack drider is decent i could speculate on white and pick up the blessed hippogriff if white ends up being open uh the basilisk isn't awful either being a two mana death touch creature but probably not the best two drop in the format i think it's going to be the shambling gas here i will agree with this only because we have the cast down here if we didn't have the cast down I would probably pick up the Hippogriff, or if we had taken that blue rare, I'd probably pick up Ray of Frost here. Alright, uh, looks like black is pretty drying up, as is white. And these blue cards aren't super impressive. Look at the 1-3 is an okay body, with an okay late game effect. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the dragon. It, It's a dragon for Dragon's Fire, but Dragon's Fire will already deal 3 damage by itself without revealing this. I could also speculate on green here, but... I'm okay with the red dragon if, if we're going to be an aggressive red deck. Here we have a Valor Singer and a Warriors of Tiamat. Both of these are good, although there's a lot of, like, better 5-mana cards. 5-mana, 6-mana plus cards we could end up finding. Uh, Soul Knife Spy would be good if we started with that blue rare, but we didn't. So yeah, I'm going to agree with the Valor Singer here. If we had speculated on white, the Unicorn would be okay, but I, I think I'd still go with the Valor Singer. It's pretty clear we're going to end up being red here. Ooh. And now we have a mix between the Hobgoblin Captain and the Sepulchral, Sepulchral Ghoul. I'm going to take the Ghoul here. Because if we are going into Black Red, we already have a Shambling Gas to work with this. Uh... This is this is going like our last draft, but that's okay. Our last deck was was pretty good, so why not repeat that? It is kind of sending a signal, but but a pack a pick eight, ghoul and following up with a sewer plague, another great removal spell. Sign me up. The weaponry and fireball would also be decent cards here. I would probably pick them in this order, as you can see, it's kind of adjusting. Uh, for what we are. Yeah, I don't see any reason to deviate from Black Red here. And we have a pick 10 Knoll Hunting Party. I cannot say I expected that to come back. Yeah, that, that's a good card. Uh, here, nothing is super interesting. I guess we'll take this Summon Undead. Not because it's the highest rated, but because it's a black card and just kind of send the signal that we want. Everything's good. Just everything is good. This can be a top end card if we don't find another better one. The Earth Cult Elemental. Oh, what does this thing do? Mantra's Battlefield. Another target non-token creature gains double team until end of turn. When he attacks, conjure a duplicate of another target non-attacking creature card into your hand. That could be like an interesting card to splash. However, we do have other interesting cards here. Faconia. That should be good. It's a specialized card. We have Deadly Dispute. I kind of want to take that, too. 
Uh, but we are semi still lacking in two drops, and this is a really good one. Like, you exile creatures from the graveyard, and then when you specialize it, you get a uh, duplicate of that card into your hand. If that wasn't there, I might even take the rare here and just speculate on a uh, possible white splash, because that, that card seems really good, too. Well, here's the black-red signpost uncommon for our uh, deck. The Kalein Reclusive Painter. It makes a treasure when it enters. And when we use treasures to cast creatures, that those creatures will enter with a number of plus one, plus one counters on them for each treasure we use. And we're pretty good on removal, so... I don't really need to take a weaponry or fireball at this point unless there's nothing else in the pack for us. So we're going to prioritize these. We're going to prioritize the deadly disputes, but uh, Kalein is just where our deck wants to be. A lot of times the first few picks... The first few picks of a... Uh, pack will always have like good stuff in your colors and then after that is when you got to start looking for signals yeah I like the Grim Bounty here if I wasn't taking the Grim Bounty yeah it would be the Rabble Rouser I don't feel like a 3 mana 2-1 flyer is really that good unless it's named Inspiring Overseer which this is not so I, I wouldn't rank those as close as what DraftSmith is ranking them. And yeah, no reason to deviate from Black Red again. We'll just grab the Hobgoblin Captain. It's a great two drop, which we could always use more of those. Nothing else in this pack is really exciting. And we're going to get something back from this, so yeah. Another Grim Bounty. How many creatures do I have? I have 10 creatures. Part of me wants to pick the Valor Singer here. I have one, two. This can kind of count as three, four, five, six. This could be like the last removal spell we need to pick. I could take another Threaten effect here with the uh, Provocation, but we only have one Ghoul at this point. Do I want to run multiple Shambling that? Well, if I get more Ghouls, I'm going to want multiples of these. And this will be the last removal type spell. I don't necessarily need multiple Shambling Gas, so yeah, I'll take I'll take that. And here's a pack with lots of good stuff. Dragonborn Immolator. It feels it feels like it's kind of just an okay sort of card. I definitely like the Prowler. We're, we're going to go on the Prowl. Another Hobgoblin Captain wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, I'd probably pick the Captain over the Immolator if the Prowler wasn't in the pack. Now this card I'm not the biggest fan of, though we do have a lot of removal. Maybe it'd be okay. Maybe we can get away with it. We have a lot of removal. And it's either that or the third Threaten effect, which I don't think we need a third one of those. Uh, another Valor Singer would be good. And here's a Deadly Dispute. And here's the Rabble Rouser. Now, see, it's ranking this higher, but I like the Rabble Rouser, especially in multiples. Because they can they can pump the whole team, and that's, that's where I'll kind of disagree with uh, Draftsmith. I don't think we're going to be desperate for playables, so we shouldn't need that. I like the Warcaller. And a last pick, the Shambling Ghast came back to us, so we got the second Shambling Ghast anyways. Okay, 
this is saying 41, but I don't think we need another Grim Bounty here. Uh, what does this thing do? Choose one or more. Create a treasure token and lose one life. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, draw a card and lose two life, or create a 3-2 shapeshifter with changeling and lose three. So that can cost us a lot of life. If we were in like a life gain sort of deck, I could be more on board with that. I'm going to take the battle cry goblin here. It's saying this is tied with Grim Bounty, but given our deck structure, I really don't think we need more Grim Bountying. We need to be able to get threats on the board. I want to get another... We're, we're really going to be looking for another ghoul and another deadly dispute. Oh, there's a ghoul. Uh, and so here I'm going to prioritize the ghoul because we have multiple of these already. Even though it's saying, hey, take the fire beetles. Which I do like the fire beetles as well. But I'm really more interested in our ghoul sacrifice synergy here. We know how good that is from the last draft. A red dragon. Which, that's a good top end card. Vampire spawn is also good. I can cut this earth cult elemental and replace that with the red dragon. I think I'm happy with that. Very happy. You can just hear the happiness in my voice. Uh, Vampire Spawn would probably be my second pick. Just because, again, I don't think we need removal at this point. But if we're going to get this good removal... This card's amazing. So, it'll deal four damage. And then if there's excess damage dealt, you get a boon with the next creature you cast perpetually gets plus X plus zero. X being the excess damage, so yeah, that's really good. And here, obvious fire beetles are obvious. We're going to have some kind of tough cuts to make. And there's another Threaten. I'm not playing anything else in this pack. More beetles. I think I do just go with more beetles here over. We have so much better removal than this. Even though it does make a treasure, so there's some synergy there. But we also don't have the grim halfling thing that we had last time. And we have tons of removal already. Whereas the second fire beetles might actually make the cut. I don't know, I feel like we're going to have a lot of... ...difficult decisions to make. We just have so many good guards. I don't think there's a way where we're playing two Champlain gas, but I'm going to show you what happens after we pick all of our cards uh, with this Draftsmith thing. Um, I don't need another two drop. There's no way I'm playing the weaponry. Oh, and it also gives you a display of how many of a given thing you have. There's no way I'm playing that. There's absolutely no way. Yeah, I'll just grab a... Uh, uncommon for for the collection why is this still here uh what do i not have i don't have any finding prisoners do i need a fourth one of these probably not do i need a third beetles also probably not but I'll probably play a third Beatles over a fourth threat. Ooh, Vampire Spawn came back. We'll probably play that. Goblin Trap Finder, sure. All right. I should try that card. I'm probably undervaluing it. But it'll essentially give something double team. All right. So you can see that this re blue red is it really? Uh, it'll recommend like two or three different builds for your deck, and it'll do the building for you. We can click build this deck, 
and oh it will tell you to remove this stuff let's just see what it Only one of those? No young red dragon. I'd probably cut that anyways. Remove one and add one. And so this is the deck that Draftsmith is recommending for us. I disagree. I agree with some of the choices, but I disagree with others. What else did it... This deck is going to be sweet. All right, what else do we have? We have no beetles whatsoever in the deck. I don't like that idea. I do like the idea of cutting the Grim Wanderer. I like the idea of keeping a Shambling Ghast. And I do like the War Caller. Okay, so a non-token creature I control gains plus two plus oh and doubles team. It also gains first strike if it has the same name as another creature you control or a creature in your graveyard. That sounds really cool, but it doesn't sound like the type of thing I really need. Also, I feel like with multiple ghouls, we should be running at least two of the threaten effects. And I do like at least one or two beetles, but then how do we make cuts? Maybe we don't run the Shambling Ghast. I mean, our curve is pretty low. I think we run... I think we can get away with running 16 land in this. As opposed to our draft last time. Where we always had a ton of things to do with our man. This one is a lot more low to the ground. So we don't really need to accelerate. I would love to give our stuff haste, because that's... That just seems really good. Especially with double team stuff, especially with... I'd have to cut some of the two drops. How many creatures are in this deck? 17. With 10 non-creatures. Maybe since we are so stacked with removal, we don't need three threatens. Because I have to cut a non-creature spell, and it's not going to be this. It's not going to be Dragon's Fire. It's not going to be Deadly Dispute. It's not going to be Cast Down. It's not going to be Sewer Plague. And it's not going to be one of our two Grim Bounties, so yeah, I can agree with that. Fire beetles. Oh, the fire beetles. I do like the fire beetles. Fire beetle is just kind of like an okay sort of three drop. They're much nicer when we can give it haste. Maybe I don't need to give things haste. No, no, we need to give things haste. I'll cut one of the beetles. Yeah, because giving our stuff haste is just going to be so nice in this deck. Two ghouls and a deadly dispute with one threat, and that's, that seems okay. We just have, like, so many good cards to pick from. I guess we don't really need... I guess we don't really need the Fire Beetles. Our two-drop slot is so stacked. And let's make Red Dragon the star here. Come on, get the star. There we go. 
All right. So we ended up ultimately mostly agreeing with Giraffe Smith. They want another land over our war caller. That's really the only difference we ended up in. Maybe if I was missing one of these, like any one of these two drops, I'd be playing a Beatles there. But we just have so much removal and so much... There's so many good, solid cards. So let's hop into some games. Now, the difference for me here uh, on my end of things is when I'm recording the way that I am recording so that you can see the uh, Draftsmith thing, I have this weird yellow border around my entire screen. You guys can't see it, but I can. And it's kind of a little bit of not overkeeping oh, us. We have enthusiasm. We are enthusiastically keeping this hand. So I can go enthusiasm for... Oh, I can just... Okay, we're up against a green deck. I can play this next turn with a treasure, though I think I might want to do that with the uh, red dragon. I can Valor Singer. I don't think I need to Valor Singer. Uh, I don't want to use the treasure on this. We'll save the treasure to get a thing earlier. I suppose I could have attacked there, kind of stopped the captain from just coming in. Although our vampire, no, the captain's going to come in anyways. Okay, so they have some sort of trick here. Go ahead, play your trick. Archery, okay. Very well, then. I could just kill this and make our red dragon so much bigger. Or our valor singer. Uh, we do need to kill something. I need to kill... I need to just get a creature out. We'll do this. I'm not going to defend with him. Not yet. So his next creature is going to get a boon with plus one, plus one counter, reach counter, and trample counter. And it's going to die. But do I need to kill that right now? Because they could, with the planes up, they could have uh, the indestructible thing. I guess let's let's go for it. I'll reveal a dragon card in case they have something else. We'll make them have to have it. See my red dragon? Okay, they didn't have it. Null hunting party. If I attack with both, I could cast this. Let's do it. Uh, they'll probably already block that, which I guess I'm kind of done with it. Give them a more incentive to, yeah, get an extra point of damage in here. And we will just put the pressure on. We still have removal. We don't have a ton of cards in hand. But our opponent uh, did get a double team thing. They had their combat trick. Okay. But our opponent is going to be facing a lot of pressure here. We can also make this... This will have first strike during our turn. And we can make it a 5-4 with first strike with the Valor Singer if we don't need to. Is this a bard? It's a bard! You spoony bard! Opponent trying to figure out how to not be completely overrun next turn. So we'll give them that time. Meanwhile, we'll ring their bell. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And punch their fish for that. Uh, unfortunately, 
Yeah, we don't have much else going on here. We also can't actually cast our Red Dragon without another Red Source. Maybe using the treasure to kill their thing wasn't such a good idea. There's a... Oh, hey, there's a Rabble Rouser. They'd have to double block. I would rather just them not be able to gain life. And I'll just keep the pressure on them. They see the red dragon, and the red dragon is going to be 4 damage. And we have a boon too, so the next creature we cast is going to get plus x plus 0. It could be this thing. This could just be a 2 mana 3-3 three, three with a double team. Now the double team creature is going to be like the original of this, not... It's not going to have the perpetual game. I don't think. I, I don't think that's how that works. That would be insane if it did. And I don't really care if they want to attack back with their uh, double team thing here. It was, it's already used double team, so it's just a 2-1. It's a good card. But... Uh, yeah, we're going to have just more pressure on our opponents. That's that's the strategy in Limited. Just uh, be more aggressive. And then you can force situations like this where the Spoony Bard is coming in. You know, every time I look at this picture, especially from a distance, I feel like it's holding a violin in its one hand. Like, that's how it's making the music. And the uh, and the right hand is not a sword. It's it's the, the other... Thing to play that I don't know the technical term. Okay, they're gonna gain life anyways. Whatever. Ooh. I don't really want to threaten here. Do I want to attack? If I attack, they're gonna double block. I'm not really into that. I am into this. They would double block. Actually, I could get on board with this. If they want to double block. Because the next turn I can threaten something and attack with this. And if we ever find another red source, we have red dragon. Ooh, that is really risky when we've got this and this. Well, our opponent doesn't know we have this, but they know we have this, so they're effectively at one life. Yeah, I'm not going to block any of that. Oh, we're just going to threaten this thing. Pump this, and uh, everything's coming in. Yeah, so the Threaten effect can still be good in aggressive decks, uh, even if we don't have the Sack Outlet available. Yeah, that went very well. Oh, the store has updated. I'll have to uh, I'll have to check that out as well. I was checking and see the daily deals because once in a while they'll have like. They'll give you 550 gold for the cost of 50 gold. Yeah, this is a keepable hand. Keepable hand if I've ever seen one. Uh, Alright, they have red, so they might remove something. So let's play our reclusive painter. He's also a spoony bard. Flaming Fist Dust Guard. Okay. Do I want to play the Valor Singer? Not really. I would rather play the Ghoul and leave up stuff. I'm not going to attack here because our opponent is slightly more threatening with a 3 1. But we'll play the Ghoul. Like, I've got Dragonfire. 
We've got Grim Bounty. We have a problem. That is what we have. When it enters the battlefield, another target non-token creature gains double team until end of turn. I'd prefer if it didn't. And then whenever that attacks, I don't want that having double team. So yeah, we are just going to get rid of that. Be gone with you. And uh, this can come in. It is a 4-3, which is kind of annoying. Vaconia. Interesting. I think we can just play the Valor Singer here. I'll go attacking with the Ghoul. Sure, why not? We'll get some damage in. They're going to get to attack back on us. This is becoming increasingly not good. Attacks target non-attacking creature. Oh, he's going to get... Yeah, we really needed a land to kill that. Okay. This is bad. I mean, I kind of want you to block. I'm fine with that trade. Absolutely fine with it. Uh, do I play the Viconia? I don't... Uh, it becomes a 3-4. I think we're just, we're just going to play this. Let's see, if they attack with the Rabble Rouser, I could double block here. They'd have to... They'd have to pump at least once if they want to spend their mana that way to kill something, or pump twice to kill the Valor Singer. I'd be okay with that, because then that would be their turn. This thing, I just, I don't want this thing attacking. I'm surprised it didn't attack last turn. Oh, gosh. I don't know why it's not attacking. I'm not going to pretend to know why it's not attacking. I guess if our opponent's not going to be aggressive, uh, this is a chance for us to be. Because this is going to tap our stuff anyways. And I'm going to Sewer Plague this. Oh, man. Now do I Sewer Plague the other thing? Or do I just kill... I think I'm fine just killing that, and then... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get rid of this thing. They, they cannot just be allowed to exist. It's gone. Okay, they're gonna get to attack, and they're gonna get to get another Rabble Rouser. That's fine. It's not, but it's better than what we were staring at the past couple of turns. Uh, I'm not going to block here. No attacks? Oh. It, it happens. He forgot. He just clicked through his turn. Okay. So we'll go attacking. He's confronted. Okay, you go ahead and be confronted. I'm going to Deadly Dispute. I would have still attacked there anyways, even if he didn't do the thing. I could Vampire Spawn. Vampire Spawn doesn't sound bad. Rabble Rouser doesn't sound horrible either. I could play the Viconia. No, Viconia is not the play here. I think it's going to be... Let's get the spawn. 
And we're going to have to pay with treasure, so it's going to be a 3-4. I'll make it a little bit more threatening. So now this thing can't just attack in and, and overpower this. You know, Boros is supposed to be like the aggressive guy. He, he played all this stuff and wasn't aggressive with it. And I don't know why he wasn't aggressive with it, but I'm kind of glad he was. And now you're going to be aggressive? I mean, that looks so suspicious. I don't trust it. And I'm only taking three damage there. Okay, it was a null hunting party. That makes sense. Well, that's going to die. Yeah, that is going to die. I can play one of these off of the treasure. Uh, we're going to be aggressive. What do I want to play? Vaconia? Yeah. I'll, I'll play the Vaconia. We can exile their Knoll hunting party. And that. Ooh, this, this could get nasty for them. They could pump their team and give it Vigilance, but we can still kill something. Okay, now they're not pumping their team. Okay. Alright, what does this do when it's black? Uh... Okay, so it, it turns it into a vampire spawn effect. Or it gets plus and plus O oh, in haste. I kind of like that. I'd have to ditch the Rabble Rouser. I wouldn't be able to... I would actually get this thing. Because I would need the mana... Well, I need... Oh, and then I need two to specialize. I could actually do all that. Yeah, so I'm going to exile this. We're going to specialize on red. This could also be a mistake. Target creature gains double team. Yeah, I'll take another Vigonia. Oh, this thing has haste. And we'll conjure a uh, vampire spawn. Oh, these are just more three fours. I just copy of that. Wait, I thought when another target non-token... Oh, it's attacking creature. So I should have attacked with the vampire spawn. I thought it was conjure a copy of a non-token, non-attacking creature. Whatever. We still have multiple more Vigonias in our hand. So, sure. Okay, we're going to get to kill some stuff here. Oh, what do I want to kill of theirs? I want to kill one of those. I do want to kill the Unicorn, though. But I want the Rabble Rousers gone, too. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. There's lots of trades happening. And now I can play these other... Vaconias. I mean, it's not going to get the uh, Specialize effect again. I wasn't sure if it was going to conjure, like, the original card or the uh, Specialized card, but whatever. I could attack here. No, that's not really a good attack. Let's play this. I can exile stuff. I wouldn't mind going attacking with this. 
Maybe I should have specialized to black. And just kind of chilled for another turn. I don't know, they had a lot, they had a huge board. That, that could have gone very poorly. Uh, we're going to just start exiling some stuff here. Just so they can't get it back. I don't know if they have a way to. I don't want them to get stuff back. So it can all just kind of go away. Oh, hey, that works. So I can take their Flaming Fist Officer, and it always has to attack now. Coming in. Now they don't really have good blocks. Now they have good blocks. <laughs> Okay. Please kill my Viconia so I can play another one. They, they're killing my Viconia. They know I have this one. They don't know I have a land that I can play it. Do I want to kill the Rabble Rouser or kill two things? I want to kill the Rabble Rouser. That's kind of being the issue here. It's going to make their thing bigger, but their thing has to attack. I'll play my third Viconia. Yeah, I think I should have attacked with the Vampire. I'd, I'd have more Vampire spawns. But they would be two three vampire spawns, which wouldn't be able to attack as well as these three mana three fours. Okay, he wasn't doing anything. Your three three has to attack. You could... I was going to say, you could pump the team. Oh, and it has vigilance. Well, that's annoying. Oh, I gotta block one of these. Okay, I could use, like, a removal spell. Battle Cry Goblin? Goblins you can control get plus one, plus O oh, in haste. Do I go swinging for the fences here? I feel like I do. Because the, the Flaming Fist Officer is going to eat something. You got to block the Viconia. Well, I suppose you don't have to. Their Flaming Fist Officer is going to be big. That's the problem. But I don't think they're going to have lethal. Ooh. Yeah, I'm good with this, because everything else will trade off. I'm going to activate this again. Yeah, we'll kill everything off. That's going to be seven power, so if they draw like a way to pump it, we could be dead. But that, the 7-7 seven, seven has to attack. And we have two lethal attackers on the crackback. Hippogriff. That doesn't save them. Your 7-7 seven, seven must attack. And we get a swamp. But we win. Barely, but we win.
We win. I won't punch your fish until you concede. Or until damage goes through and I have to, you know, say, okay, let's have damage go through. Punch that fish. This ended up being a very close game. I probably misplayed a little bit there with the, uh, a couple of my attacks. Our opponent definitely misplayed by not attacking sooner when they had the, their rare thing. Uh, opponent, there's not a ton to think about here. They just know we're punching this fish repeatedly. I hope they're not just... They might just be using all these timeouts just to uh, be kind of annoying. This is just this is just poor sportsmanship at that point. Yeah, I, this didn't really happen a lot in the streets of New Capena, so now now it's kind of happening again. But okay. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk about the Spoonie Bard reference I made. That is a reference to Final Fantasy IV. So it's actually kind of fitting for this theme. I love this uh, the theme that's playing in the background for, for this uh, battleground here. While there's not a ton of stuff to interact with, there's the bell we can ring and, and fish with the punch, and that's, that's about it. Uh, the sound is just... or the music is just like... Like, we're setting out on an adventure, or we're in a, uh, a town of an RPG, or, or just setting out on a quest for it. Very fitting. I love it. Also, while we're waiting for our opponent, take this time to subscribe to the channel if you have not already and you are enjoying this content. I don't have necessarily a set amount of drafts or set amount of uh, uploads I'm going to do per week or whatever. Um, I'm just drafting. It's fun. I'm having fun with this. And we're moving up. Slowly but surely. We're in a Platinum 3. I don't really have like any goals to get to like Mythic or whatever. Just kind of just Doing the drafts, having fun, having a bunch of spoony bards. Oh, this is a great hand. So we're going to keep this. Our opponent had to mulligan, though I think we're on the play. No, they're on the play. Well, that makes it worse for them. We're going to start off with the rabble rouser, I think. Oh, okay, they're going to use their uh, adventure on Young Blue Dragon. Yeah, so th this way we can get this double team going. I could kill that. I don't need to kill that. Because they, they aren't actually killing our thing. We'll just get our free double team thing here. Uh, let's threaten this. I guess I'm not really threatening that right now. Another Moon Druid. Well, since I can't actually, like, punch through any of this at the time, I'll, I'll trade a 2-drop for a 3-drop. I don't really want Viconia yet. I guess we're going to go with these Rabble Rousers. Go with the one that hasn't double teamed yet, so I can double team with it. We need another red source. I feel like we've been here before with I need another red source. If I get another red source, I will enthusiasm. I'm going to enthusiasm that. Do I need to enthusiasm that? Like, I just swing in. 
I don't need to enthusiasm that yet. Because I can pump the team if they want to block. And if they don't want to block, we just have more of these coming. I am going to do this, however. Kind of had enough of certain things. Well, that's annoying. So we're going to get a trigger here. That's has this what I was trying to avoid. Okay, we'll take seven. Take seven, they're going to play their flying thing. This is kind of becoming an issue. I suppose I need to stop attacking for a brief moment. Play Viconia. Play another... Rabble Rousing Party. I'll trade off the Viconia here with the Circle Moon Druid. They didn't play... I was going to say, they didn't play their dragon. Oh my gosh. How do I want to block this? Can I kill them next turn? Let's see, if I take this, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, no, I can't quite kill them next turn. I can do that. And they're only killing... they're killing two of those. Yeah, we'll do that. Dragonfire. Okay, that'll kill the Knoll Hunter. Does this thing have... oh, that's got Trample and Reach. Crap. So I can kill the Knoll Hunter. I don't have any attacks here. This is so bad. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can swing in for eleven, but that doesn't that doesn't do enough. Okay, we're gonna reveal a dragon while they have nothing here. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Should I be looking to specialize? Ah, uh, they just have so much big stuff. Okay. We have to block. I double block, I can deadly dispute. This is so bad. I can't kill that thing, that's the problem. I would take one here. Or I take four. Take four. Sewer plague and treasure, okay. We really needed our ghoul there. Uh, I don't think there's a way we don't die. It's so, like I can play the red dragon and play the two valor singers. He just kills us in the air. Yep, good game. I I can. I would have to do that, and then play that, 
and then we're still dead. Yeah. Get under the bus, you spoony bard. Opponent just got to be far more aggressive. They, they mulliganed to six there on the play. Where were our grim bounties? It was really that turn with the uh, where they had that. I didn't think they had a trick when when they chose not to block. That that just seems so weird. Well, that's really where our downfall started when our when our removal didn't remove. Going to six. Must be a person who likes to mulligan. Uh, we don't need to go to six. We can definitely keep this. And we have our double red this time. Uh, we'll play our painter. Get that going right away. Vampire spawn is not going to come out and have a counter on it right now. I think we're just going to save a bear. I barely believe it. I could even go Rabble Rouser Battle Cry Goblin. I don't think that's needed. Let's do this. We're not paying with the dang treasure. And no attacks. This thing has specialized for it's got ward two, that's the issue with it. They don't have attacks here, unless they have trick. They don't have a trick, they have that. Okay. Part of me wants to kill that, but that would use my entire turn. I think I could attack here. Attack for two. Attack for two, see what they do. They do nothing. Okay. Then we can... I'm play the Hobgoblin. But I'm not paying with the treasure. Do I want another creature? I kind of want to do this and pump. And this still saves Dragonfire. That's not a goblin. Yeah, we'll do that. But if we don't draw land, then we can't also pump. I don't know what I'm doing. That, is, that may be not have been the right play. Maybe we should still be playing 17 lands. I would like to Dragonfire that. Problem is it has Ward 2. I didn't know they'd be going for that right away. Okay, so now what does it have? Reach, Trample, Life Link. Yeah, that's a problem. That is indeed a problem. But they're not going for that. Okay. So this thing will have first strike if I come in. Which I'm going to. I think I'm actually going to pay with treasure here, too. And we're going to activate this. So that'll have first strike. This will come in with a thing. I mean, they can also just... They're not even going to block the goblin with their life linker? That confuses me. What are they doing? Uh, that that really confuses me.
Are they going to attack with it? Like, they could have gained... Okay, they gained three off of that. There's a Valor Singer. Uh, we don't have good attacks anymore, unless we do play the Valor Singer, but... I'm just going to go with we don't have good attacks anymore. We'll play this. And we'll pass. We've got Dragon's Fire up. Let's see what they want to do. They have a problematic 3-4 over there. I might Dragon's Fire what they flicker here. So otherwise they're just getting too much value. I really don't want to Dragon's Fire that. I want Dragon's Fire that. But I, I can't let them have all that value. Okay, if I have Valor Singer, I swing to three. I'd have to swing four creatures. I'm throwing away too much if I do that. I can't get the Knoll Hunting Party out right away. I could give that first strike, but they... They just have such good blocks. I would have had to attack with four things in order to play the Knoll Hunting Party. Okay, this is going to be... This is going to be difficult. Although the Knoll Hunting Party is, is going to help. Oh, room's eye. Okay, that's fine. I feel like we have better attacks this turn. I pump this. A ghoul. Okay. So that's coming in, that's coming in. And that's coming in. That reduces this by three. So I can play it for three mana and yeah, that's actually perfect. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Okay, they're going to do that. I could actually double pump here. If I double pump, though, I'm not playing the Null Hunting Party, which is entirely the issue. We got to get the Null Hunting Party online. Because if we do that, then our attacks become really good. Uh, I'll play the Ghoul in case we get a uh, the Threaten effect. Our opponent has not been aggressive. No! Darn it! Uh, I really don't like that. I really needed that Null Hunting Party. But I can get aggressive with the Ghoul, too. And they're just casting the Hippogriff. Okay. They can come in for one. They choose not to. To each their own. So I guess we pump that and go in with the ghoul. Pump that. So that has first strike. Could also just do a whole bunch of blocks on this. We're gonna chump block the ghoul. I can play this and give it a plus one plus one counter. That's not a bad play either. I think I'll do that. Uh, 
Uh, I do want to save this, so... We're going to sack our token that's never going to do anything else. Uh, I'm going to pay that with the treasure. So that maybe we can get something going here with that as well. Oh, they have a lot of cards. They do have a lot of cards. Valor Singer has to pump the Hobgoblin Captain. I ha Oh. They're attacking now, and I can't do anything about that. The worst part is that gains them life. Can I get... Deadly Dispute. Was not quite the thing I needed to get. Okay, so Valor Singer Pump here. Come in with these. So that has Pack Tactics. I think I gotta kill their owlbear shepherd here. And sack the vampire spawn to the ghoul. Yeah, I'm more concerned with them drawing extra cards, so we'll activate this a couple times. Activate Ghoul. This isn't doing anything. First strike down. They're just throwing... They threw away their griffin. If they had double blocked with something else, they could have... I don't know why they didn't do that. Now I can block with Kalein. Okay, that is not going to happen. That is not happening, Mr. Opponent. Okay, here we go. Cast. I can't cast that down. What? I. It, I need Red Dragon. Because that still has Ward Do. Yeah, Grim Bounty. That works. That will work. That will take my entire turn. But I don't care as long as that piece of crap is gone. It has been around way too long. And I do still have treasure. I could use it on killing one of those things. How do I do this? Because I can't I just don't have creatures anymore. I gotta swing with both of these to give this first strike. And I do want to just fire that away. Okay. That's good. We're, we're fine. We're good. They're taking damage. We have cast down for another thing. They can give a thing lifelink. Perpetual lifelink. That's that's fine. I could cast that down. I mean, they must not have a combat trick if that's... Okay, they have that. That's reasonable. I guess I cast down that, and so I can keep the pressure up. I don't like that. I don't like that, but they're close to being dead. 
I mean, why not? I can attack with Kalane. Okay, so they're now ready to throw away their unicorn. I'm holding on to this land because, well, we don't have a reason to play it. Okay, so the unicorn's getting lifelink. And it's vigilancing. Okay, here's what we do. If they don't block, they're dead. Okay, they're dead. That's why we wanted to attack there first. Uh, sound effects got a little wonky there with the music. We, we missed some of our sound effects. Okay, whatever. I've been noticing there's been some like weird sound stuff happening uh, with some of these. Uh, so I, I think it's like the background. It must be like the background or, or the battleground thing. But all right, we're doing pretty good. Z bad karma Z. Viconia, Cobalt, Warcaller, we're keeping this. Even though we only have two lands, we can play most of our... Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good, everything's fine. Our opponent is green. Green, blue, with a death touch thing. That is not as fine. Because now I don't really want to attack. I mean, I guess I just play the Rabble Rouser. Not attacking. I'll give the vampire spawn haste. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, actually, I don't... Yeah, whatever. If they want to attack with a 1-2 death touch, I'll let them. I could kill that. Well, it's probably better to just play this. I don't mind trading the Vampire Spawn for their Death Toucher. If they're game for it, I am. Cool. They're not game for it. Darn it. Next turn, I can also go attacking with this and pump. You Spoony Bard! That's kind of annoying. They're going to start attacking me in the air, which is also kind of annoying. There's a ghoul. If I kill their bard, they can just go look for a dragon. But I also have Grim Bounty for it. I want to go attacking here and I want to be aggressive, so let's do it. Kill your spoony bard. Yep, you get a dragon. Do I want to cast... Not really. Okay, the Bouncy Serpent, so we do have to be mindful of that. I'm coming in with these two. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Yeah, I I will do this. I'm good with that. Good with all of this. Please bounce my vampire spawn. I don't think our opponent's going to be that nice. Oh, that's... That's a thing they can do, too. And they're still attacking. Uh, let's give it to the ghoul. Oh, there's Kalane. Reclusive painter. I kind of want him. I can attack with the ghoul here. Do I want to attack with the ghoul here? Am I done with the war caller? That already has haste. I can be done with the war caller. Okay, I'm not done with the war caller. Now we got to be careful, especially if they leave mana open. Because they can bounce a thing. 
I kind of just want to save Grim Bounty for when they cast it. Okay. Uh, the Adventure Mode of a Young Blue Dragon. There's also a four mana trick they could have that could add two plus one plus one counters. So I have a feeling we're not going to be attacking. Is there good stuff in the graveyard? I might borrow their dragon hero lists. We get a dragon of our own. I might do that. They're attacking. Okay. And they left mana up. Okay, what do I want to specialize this into? Red gives it plus one plus O oh, and haste. Viconia. I may as well pay with treasure. Make it a little bit bigger. Do I specialize with red? I think I specialize with black. Oh, we have to exile a creature first. I think we specialize with red because I need to... I need to be able to cast red dragon when we get it. Maybe I didn't need to use the treasure for Viconia. Whatever, it has haste. They could also bounce. I'm kind of surprised they didn't bounce. Okay. I guess Viconia can attack. This already has haste. And it'll be a 5-3. Sure. You want to do that after I specialize? Yeah. That's, that's cool. Should have done that in response to my... me activating the specialize. I was... Uh, that could have gone very poorly for me. But now we can play the muralists. Okay, they're going to go adventuring again. We can play the muralists and go attacking with it. Can also attack with the ghoul. Well... I kind of want to give the Red Dragon haste. Yeah, I definitely want to give the Red Dragon haste, so I don't really want to sack that. Mana. Very nice. I'm going to wait for the thing. Yeah, we're just going to do this. This is the thing to do. I'll sack the Vampire. Actually, I can sack Kalein. I'll set Kalein. I've got to be in the mood for blocking something here. There we go. Yeah, hi, I have a red dragon. It's going to gain haste. And you're not going to like it. Because that red dragon alone can represent... Potentially 8 damage if they don't have a flying blocker. They have a flying blocker. So it is not going to be 8 damage. At least not immediately. Oh, I hope they don't have... I hope they don't have the counter spell here. I'd be kind of disappointing if they did. 
Maybe I should play this and go for a knoll hunting party. One, two. I'd have to attack with three things. I could attack with three things. Yeah, that, that feels safer than just doing the red dragon thing. Okay, so that... It's not what I'm trying to do. Combat. I think I'm done with Kalein. I want to give this haste. I don't need to give that haste. I can't give that haste reliably well. I'm done with Kalein. Maybe this was wrong, I don't know. Okay. Gets rid of that thing, and we get to play this. If they have the counter for this, that's fine. Okay, they don't have the counter for that. Okay, cool. We have two amazing cards in our hand. Our opponent has a couple flyers, but we're not really under pressure. They're going to be under more pressure. Our red dragon already has haste. They've already demonstrated that they don't have... Unless they just drew the counter. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's just be aggressive. Do you have a counter? Okay, you do have the counter. Okay. That's unfortunate. Well, heck, none of this stuff can block, so it may as well all attack. And they have to make some unfavorable blocks here. Yeah, you're, you're going to be dead if you don't block the ghoul. And we're done with that, I guess. Yeah, they're at two. They can't possibly have enough blockers here. Even if they do, we've got we've got removal. Our hand is stacked. There's a looter. I am not impressed. What else you got? Pardon me? What makes you think you can attack there? Dread Lindworm. Okay. Oh, that untaps it. Oh, nifty. Uh, you still only have two blockers. I didn't realize that that untaps as well. Put two plus plus one counters and untap it and hexproof. I thought it was just the counters and the hexproof. Yeah, that, that card is really good. But we won because we were more aggressive. Which is just kind of how this deck operates. We're up to four wins. We're four and one. Doing pretty well here. And now, decked out. Okay. Another very reasonable opening hand. Uh, Mr. Opponent, we have a reasonable hand. 
they, they must have like a really iffy hand that they're trying to decide on a really risky hand like they're missing a color or they're missing or they don't have like any good early plays something like that their hands got to be one of those things okay they are keeping maybe their hands fine who knows Prowler. I could kill that, but I don't need to right now. I I really don't need to. Brave choice. Oh, now they're getting a Kalane. Nice. Okay. Okay, opponent. I could play both of those. I'm not really into that yet. I'm not going to block the Prowler. It can it can prowl around all at once. The Kalein, however, is going to cause an issue. I can attack here. I feel like I just want to play the creatures. Play the creatures, be aggressive. Next turn we could even play a red dragon, or we could play the enthusiasm, and then our red dragon can get a buff. Uh, no reason to block that. We also have this coming in. We have this coming in. We, we have stuff going on. Uh, what's our opponent going to do? Is it? Do they have the uh, prison thing? The sea tower? No, they have. Yuck! Cause now my red dragon doesn't even block that well. Actually. Let's do this anyways. I'll teach you. They gotta figure something's up here. Cool, that thing is still dead. Uh, I don't need to pump it. Although I... I don't need to pump it. We'll just get in for our damage. That thing is dead. We'll go on the prowl ourselves. I'm not going to play the other thing, because we might not get a land next turn. I want to play this red dragon. Don't do that. That's rude. No blocks. So this thing is not going to be good right now either. Well, now it's dead. Oh, hey, another one of those. I'm on the prowl. I could do both of these. They're kind of getting low on cards, so this could be a good time for Red Dragon. The skies are clear. And they're going to kill my dragon. They're going to kill my dragon. I have a lot of rabble rousing that could be happening. Still don't need to block that. I will get an attack in for the red dragon. It's not as impressive as what I needed it to be. But it is happening. I have a dragon's fire. It's not awful. This isn't this isn't awful yet. 
Okay. That one enters tapped. That's semi unfortunate. There goes the dragon. Four, five, six. Yeah, this is lethal. So I do need to block something here. Life link. Okay, you're dead. You are dead. Because then this is four damage. You have nothing. That was another very close game. I feel a lot of the games in Limited are very close. Uh, I think that's just the way these sets have been designed. Because there's so many cards, like there, there's obviously a few cards that are in each set that are obviously bad and shouldn't be played. But a lot of these games are just, or a lot of the, the cards are just feeling like designed so that we get close games like this almost every time. As opposed to limited games that I'm used to from like my local game store years ago. This is good. This is, this is very good. where usually things end up being a lot more one-sided. I mean, even in some of the games here, like it seems one-sided or, or fairly one-sided at first, and then, uh, you know, people end up getting really good cards or drawing the really good cards and, and coming back. Everything is a good and relevant card. Well, that is a good and relevant card. Unicorn! Unicorn that is semi late to the party. Ghouls that are not late at all. Valor Singer! You Spoony Bard! I am not interested in this. I'm not interested in the trade. Because I have a 2-3 here. Uh, which I'm not sacking, so not attacking with the ghoul either. They could do the pump thing and come in. Which if they want to do that, they're spending like their entire turn. In that case, I will just threaten their singer and uh, end up sacking it. Okay, they don't want to do that. They left all their mana open. So that's also somewhat suspicious. So I'm just going to play out these Rabble Rousers. And we'll pass the turn. Just develop the board and pass. Uh, no need to take any crazy risks here. Are you going to kill my ghoul? Kill the ghoul. Unexpected windfall. Okay. They discarded a ambush down the road. Okay, so they did have a trick. Now they have a lot of mana. I would prefer if they play something like a red dragon here, or play like the ancient gold dragon, the mythic rare. I would love that so much. Oh, you'll be so sad if you play that. You will be so sad if you play that. So play it. Play it! We're also just threatening to attack with these Rabble Rousers, pump both of them. So they don't really have good blocks on this board. I 
I don't think I need to take this risk here. Blocking is risky. And I just, I don't need to do it. When I have, I have more value with these things staying on the board. Okay. That can be an issue. It's not even a good thing to threaten. I have a Dragon's Fire now, so... This isn't that bad here. Let's do this, see what they want to do. If they don't want to do anything about it, I can just play another. This is kind of eating up my entire turn, and they might just be able to protect this thing. Valiant Fair, okay. Okay. So their next creature will get a boon. We'll still have a trade here. Okay with this. Maybe we do still need 17 land, though. What would I take out of this deck? Ancient Copper Dragon. That is what we wanted. That is what we wanted. Oh, I, my mana issues are fixed. That's what we wanted. Mind if I borrow this? Don't even have to think. Just just give me that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was not going to go well for our opponent. We were going to get uh, at least one treasure, preferably more. Even if they could have killed our ghoul, uh, we could have used, if we had rolled at least two treasures, played another ghoul and sacked their dragon. If we roll high enough, we could just dump our entire hand out. Uh, we're up to six wins. We are six in one. Oh, wasn't I going to see about removing a card for a land? Because we do seem to be land light a lot of times. But then again, we've gotten to six six wins with this. We do seem to be land light a lot of times. This is, this is good. This is fine. We have Viconia. We have Dragon's Fire. We've got the Deadly Dispute that can help us. Viconia it is. I mean, unless they drop like a red card. Okay, cool. And we have this. Uh, now we can just be aggressive. No reason not to attack here. And now our hand is like all, almost all removal. We do have to get up to six mana to get this plus the Deadly Dispute at the same time. Alright, what you got, opponent? You got both your colors, you got three lands, you gotta have something you can put. You have really cool sleeves. Oh, I've seen those, those obscure sleeves. I thought about getting those. Did I get those? Oh, that's rude. I should... I don't need to Grim Bounty there. Give me that back. It's basically like a uh, Banisher Priest. Which I can totally exile from their graveyard and like specialize and get myself a copy of it. That sounds fun. Priest of Ancient Lore. Okay, you do that. 
That doesn't stop either of these from attacking. Yeah, we're going to exile your creature there. I don't think there's a, there's the hippogriff you can use to make that indestructible for a turn, but I don't think there's I can specialize to black. Yeah, I'm fine specializing that to black. And just getting the thing. I don't really need that land. Pytar's humiliation. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm not going to deadly dispute there. I mean, I still have a 3-4. We'll pump this, and we'll go attacking. So we just lost all the abilities on this thing perpetually. But it's still a 3-4, so we're still increasing the pressure. Activate only if you control six or more lands. We're going to choose the battlefield if you cast it. Seek a land with basic land type. Okay. You do that, opponent. Well, that's not a basic land. I mean, they could double block and kill the Valor Singer, double block and kill Viconia. I'm okay with either of those. Just keep the Deadly Dispute open. Or they just take a billion damage. What does this thing do when it specializes? It becomes things I want to steal. Oh, that becomes lifelink. When it dies, it unspecializes. If it unspecializes... I mean, I could play the Grim Bounty, kind of ensuring that we have the treasure. But with one white, it's just... It just screams I have the Hippogriff to protect something. Whereas I can just threaten it next turn. It just always comes back. I guess that's why it's a mythic. Okay, they're going for the giant bear form. Okay. You have a giant bear. You're dead? I have a giant bear. I can barely believe it. Band together to kill the Valor Singer. Yeah, you killed the Valor Singer. You're still dead. You're all still dead. Now, I wonder, if I would have sacrificed that, would it come back to the battlefield under my control? Since I controlled it when it died? We didn't get to find out. But what we did... Ooh, Historian's Wisdom. That's interesting art there. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we went seven and one again with a pretty... Again, this is like a pretty perfect black-red deck. Maybe next time we'll get a deck that's not black-red. I guess I didn't really miss the Fire Beetles at all. They're nice to have, but our other three drops were just a little bit better, I think. If we had more Sacrifice Synergy, like a third Ghoul and another Deadly Dispute, I could have reworked the deck to put in three of these Threatens, but I think one was fine for the two and the one there. And we just had so many good good cards overall. And remember, Draftsmith wanted us to not play the Warcaller and play another land, which 
you know, maybe would have been right. But uh, I like this war caller. It's it does a lot of work giving, especially if you're giving double team stuff haste. That's just so good. Uh, but anyways, let's claim our prize. And maybe next time we'll end up in a different color combination. But for now, I'll take my leave.